Hello everybody, it's Rachel here at Cloudy Hands Crafts. Today I've got another envelope tutorial to show you and you will need a square of paper to do it. Now I got this idea from, uh, it was actually a jewellery store that had a video of how she packages her earrings and things like that and it's been, a, I've adapted it from packaging into an envelope that you can use as a pocket. I'll leave her link below, um, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it so I wrote it down and it's, I read it as Jueli Nelly, but it was German and I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. So it may be something completely different. Uh, but that's her shop and I will leave that link below if you want to go and show some support and buy some lovely jewellery from there. This was adapted from something that she had posted on Pinterest. And it made a cute little packet. And I thought, well, that could easily be used as a pocket in a junk journal. So, we are folding on the diagonal. And then we're going to fold this line in line with the centre. So that we're starting to make a kite shape. And then again on the other side. It's quite tricky to line those up down the centre. And then we're going to flip the bottom up and we're going to leave just over an inch of triangle poking over the top of that horizontal line. Squash that down and then you're going to use that um, the the centre bit there as a guide for folding over a flap. And then the tighter it is towards this fold, the better really. To this line rather. So it's folded over on the inside. Now you could leave it at that, just glue it down and then you've got another pentagon style pocket. Or what we're going to do here is fold those edge pieces in as well. And then you're going to line those, that outer edge with that diagonal that you folded in. And then the same on the other side. And then if you open it out, you can glue all of those pieces into position. Now I'm just going to use a tiny amount for that, um, that main fold over. But I'm going to just pop, oh I already did it, some on that tip there as well. This you'll have to be careful with when you fold it round. So you don't want to end up sticking in it to the back. So you could always pop something inside to make sure that it doesn't stick down. But by some miracle I've managed to do it there. And then we're going to stick these into position as well. So I'm just going to do this triangle area on both sides. And then the, that just adds a bit more of an interesting design to have those creases in those places. And when you come to sticking it in your journal, you can stick it open like this, or we can fold this over so I'm going to fold at the very top of these points and then we should be able to 
Just going to take a little bit of manipulation to get it in the right place. And then that will hold the flap in place if you line it up correctly. So before you actually crease those corner bits in, I would recommend that you just make sure that that lies flat. So pop the point in, hold it in place and then spread it out like so. And then if you want, you can glue that flap down as well so that you could have a square top instead of the pointed top if you just want to use that as a pocket to slip things straight in. Or as I say, you could paste it open or you can cut it off entirely. That's completely up to you. So there is the project. And then I've got another couple of pieces here that I can just work on as well. So I've got a larger one here. This is an 8 by 8 Fold that over. So again, with there being so much folding involved in this, the thinner the paper, the easier it is to control. Just tilt that over so that I've got the shadow and you can see where the centre line is. That up. And I took it behind. Don't need to do that bit yet, right? I'm going to fold those sides in. Quite tricky now with this being a bit thicker. the crease from the centre point. Lovely. Right. Okay, I'm not going to worry about doing the point this time. I'm just going to do this main triangle area and just see if that's any easier because then I don't have to worry about that inside flap printing the glue and the outer triangles that was a lot easier by the way so you might not want to glue the point down oops spinning out of control There you have that one. And I'll do one more for you while I'm here. Do this one, it's a bit of a busy pattern. And then I'm going to decorate this one as well because I've got some bits and pieces in coordinating colours that I can decorate with. It's the thing when you've got an overhead light it makes crease lines very hard to see. So 
So I do quite like that as a design for a pentagon pocket as well. It's really simple to do, isn't it? Just try and glue that as we go. All right, so what can we use on here? Let me just see if I've got some washi tape to seal over those creases. Do I want some? No, I don't actually. I quite like having them there. And then I was thinking of just doing some sort of um, motif in the centre. So this is a die cut. I think it was just from a magazine. Oops. I like the bird in the frame. So if I just hold that there and trim the bird cage off. going to peek through quite nicely. Let's just set his tail free. Something like that and then I want something behind so that he isn't on such a busy background. Let's just try cutting this down to size for behind the frame. wondering about whether to allow that to poke out or whether I want it to be neat and in line with the frame. Thinking if it's all threaded with a tatty edge it might look quite nice just as a bit of layering under there. My little bird tangled up in cotton there. So the sticks on there. And my bird can go in the middle. a tiny bit of shading to the edges to give it some more dimension. And then the frame on top. There we go. That just gives us an extra bit of decoration on the front. We can pop something like a journal card in behind. I 
So there we have today's project and I hope you enjoy it and I shall see you again next time for another video. Goodbye.